Hello Penguin Lords, I'm the Baby Penguin and welcome back to another Q&A video. Before I get straight into the questions, I do want to do a little bit of a channel update, let you know what's going on and where the finale of KSP Endurance and also of my Heart Divine 4 series, uh, <laughs> which definitely needs a finale considering the last episode was quite a few months ago. Uh, so I'm just going to explain that first. So basically, I've finished uni for the year now. But I've come back home and I'm essentially working for my mum. So what my sort of arrangement is with my mum is that she pays my accommodation fees. And then in return, I essentially save her the amount of money that that costs in manual labour uh, doing all sorts of things. So at the moment, I'm digging up the entire lawn to rip out a bunch of like huge chunks of concrete uh, that the previous owners of, of the house that I live in. Um, left there which are causing the grass to die and have been for the entire time we've lived here. Basically my, my house is always an ongoing project so there's always a huge amount of stuff to do uh, so I've been working pretty hard on that so you know it's not like I've just been kicking back and relaxing uh, and then the uh, free time that I have had I've really just been using it to enjoy my summer so catching up with friends back here home now I'm back from uh, back from uni for the summer. I've also been working my way through my Steam library, playing all sorts of games that I've never played before. At the moment I'm playing Bioshock <laughs> Infinite as you can see in the uh, background footage. So yeah, and also because Endurance is becoming a little bit difficult to make, mainly just because the install I have is getting more and more unstable, uh, so it's getting more crashy, more laggy. So what I'm doing is I'm waiting for all the parts of my new PC to arrive uh, so I can build that. So I'm making a pretty major update to my, uh, to my PC. Uh, such a massive upgrade actually that it basically is just a new <laughs> a new computer entirely and I'm just sort of cannibalizing a few components out of the current one. So my current PC, I got it about five years ago and there's nothing wrong with it as such. You know, it's got a quad core i5, uh, 3.2 gigahertz processor, it's got 16 gigs of DDR3. Um, it's not a bad computer and it's got a GTX 950 graphics card in it that I'm keeping. I'm putting that in the new one. Um, but I thought it's time for an upgrade, and especially with KSP, which is such a CPU intensive game, I thought, you know what, yeah, I'm going to reward myself for, uh, I passed all my exams, all my modules in my first year at uni, so I'm doing really well, I thought, yeah, I'm going to reward myself and spend up the rest of my maintenance loan, because uh, I was really quite frugal in the last term. So what I'm doing is I'm getting myself one of the new Ryzen Zen 2 processors, so I'm getting myself a 3800X Zen 2 processor, which is pretty crazy it's got eight cores and it goes from 3.9 base clock to 4.5 gigahertz boost clock which is just absolutely crazy uh, so that's going to make a pretty significant difference to things i'm also uh, getting an ssd i've got a new motherboard i've got 16 gigs of ddr4 a new case pretty much new everything apart from graphics card um, and a couple of other little bits and bobs that i'm taking out the old one then i'm selling the old one to uh, to one of my mates and yeah, that's going to make quite a difference in KSP and make Endurance uh, a lot easier to record because it's been edging into Kerbal Rising territory where the performance has started to hinder how much fun it is. Uh, and I've got a lot of stuff to do for the finale. I've got to launch another seven Bifrost arrays and do a great big montage of all the different craft and, and things. Yeah, I want to have a more powerful PC. Um, the rest of the parts are arriving this week and then I should be able to build it. Um, but then I'm working next week, I'm actually going on a work placement, um, and then after that I'm going off on holiday for two weeks, so yeah, I'm not going to be able to get the next episode out for about a month or so, uh, so you should get it about midway through August, which, sorry, you know, it's not ideal, I know you guys are excited for the finale and excited for the next series, but it's going to take a little bit of time, um, and then once we've wrapped up endurance uh, of course we'll be moving into a new version of ksp and then continuing uh, that save file but just in a new version i'm gonna have to make a lot of changes and stuff um probably quite a few changes to the mod list as well that's going to be a uh, quite a substantial change of pace for the series but uh, it should be very interesting so that's uh, that's that and uh, now we're just going to get into the questions what colour was your school uniform and did people treat you differently because you were in grammar school? So we had a bit of an interesting uniform. It was burgundy for the first three years, so years seven to nine. And then for years 10 and 11, it was black. And then in the sixth form, 
because uh, my school and sixth form were the same place. Um, you could stay on for sixth form there if you did well enough in your GCSEs. Uh, in sixth form we wore suits, uh, but whatever suits we wanted. So I was always quite expressive, I had all, all sorts of crazy ties, uh, which I quite enjoyed wearing. Uh, did I get treated differently because I was in a grammar school? Yes, I did, but I'm not going to make out that I was hard done by or anything. I was treated differently, mainly just by people who didn't manage to get into them. Um, <laughs> but yeah, a lot of people do have issues with grammar schools. I don't really understand it. They're just academic academies. Nobody has issues with performing arts schools, you know. It just comes down to the, the simple fact, really, that if you put dumb kids in with the smart kids it, it doesn't make the dumb kids smarter but it does hold the smart kids back that's not fair that's not nice but that's that's just kind of how it is uh, that's not me having a superiority complex or anything although it certainly does come across like that i don't mean to be an ass but i think selective schooling is a good idea uh, maybe grammar schools are not the right way to implement it there are a lot of problems you know with the 11 plus and the way it's all handled um, but you know everyone's always very quick to criticize the education system but much much slower on the uptake to come up with any actual solutions on how to improve it what is the worst injury you've ever had uh, i broke my back Yes, <laughs> I broke my back. Uh, I was bouncing on a trampoline when I was much younger and nobody uh, ever told me that I was supposed to bend my legs when I landed. So when I landed, uh, I landed slightly earlier than I anticipated because I was jumping on it with someone else and they bounced, so it bounced up and I hit it earlier than I expected. Uh, and then my spine bent instead. So I got a compressive uh, fracture of my spine spent three weeks in hospital and then I uh, couldn't do any exercise for about six months so uh, yeah that was fun apparently if I'd landed on it just a little bit harder I would have actually snapped my spine and paralyzed myself so you know that was fun <laughs> will you ever tell us what music you use for endurance right so about this at the end it takes a while to edit the endurance episodes and do the commentary and upload it and do the end screens and everything at the end of all that I just I can't be bothered to go through and put in timestamps for all the different music tracks. I find it so much faster. If someone literally just just leaves a comment and says, here's the timestamp, what is the tune used here? And I always reply to those. I always go onto them and say, yep, that's the tune. If you need to know what a song or um, or one of the pieces is that I'm using, just ask. Just ask in the comments. It saves me. It's so much faster for me to just do that um, than it is for me to post um, a list of all the different tracks uh, in the description because sometimes I use up to like 10 different uh, different ones um, so it would take a fair bit of time and I, I basically just can't be bothered so yeah just ask me in the comments do you like have Lego yes I used to absolutely love Lego uh, I still have a Lego ATAT just sitting on one of my uh, one of my drawers uh, out here I used to absolutely love it so much and I boxed it all up into into bags I'm never gonna give it away because uh, I, I want to sort of keep it uh, but I've, I've broke up all of my Lego, I had all sorts of different Star Wars things, you know, the X-Wing and Echo Base and all of that. Um, and I put them all into bags and then put them in boxes up in the loft. Um, and I put them in with their instructions as well. I used to be subscribed to the Lego magazine as well, I've kept all of those. So I kept all my Lego Club magazine, all my, all my instructions, used to absolutely love it. Yeah, and I might actually get myself a Lego Saturn V at some point, I don't know. It is looking very tempting. What's university? University. Uh, clearly, it's uh, had an impact on my ability to form sentences properly. Uh, no, university is great. It really is absolutely amazing. Um, it's very, very full-on aerospace. Uh, the only courses that are really any harder would definitely have to be medicine or nursing, God forbid. Us aerospace engineers, we have nothing nothing but respect for the medicine students and the uh, and the student nurses but uh, but yeah it is very full on but it's very very rewarding um but yeah you do need to have a lot of self discipline thankfully that's always been my greatest strength i've never had sort of just natural intelligence right i've i've known so many people that can just breeze through exams without having to revise i've always had to work really hard but I've always been really, really good at self-discipline, knowing what works for me and working for a set amount of time then letting myself time off and not procrastinating. Uh, that's always been by far my, my greatest strength. So um, really the whole university dynamic, I, I pretty much got into that sort of rhythm when I was doing A-levels using my free you know, study periods properly and everything. So it hasn't been too much of a jump for me. Clearly it has been for some people, you know, don't turn up to lectures. And uh, my course has about a 40% uh, fail rate in the first year, which I thought was crazy. And they were like, don't worry, as long as you turn up to lectures, it'll be fine. And I was just kind of like, 
if you just have to turn up to lectures and pay attention why do so many people fail and then you just see how many people just don't even do that just can't be bothered to get up and, you know without their parents cracking the whip just can't do any work uh, it really is surprising but yeah I've managed to do uh, really well this year so as I said I passed all my modules and, uh, and yeah I'm all set to just fly into a uh, into year two is going really well. I'm really enjoying it, but it is very busy. It does not leave me with a great amount of free time, but no, I'm very, very happy. Which KSP version was your first? Uh, I started playing KSP in 0.18 Alpha. They just added docking ports. I remember it was a, it was a massive, great big deal when I when I joined, uh, and then I you know casually spent about five hours <laughs> trying to perform my first docking maneuver that's not just rendezvousing that was, that was just trying to get the you know docking clamps to line up uh yeah good times i remember scott manley's tutorial was an absolute godsend scott manley was just, oh, he raised so many of us ksp youtubers it was it's <laughs> what a guy it was such an honor to uh to do that collaboration station project ages ago and uh, and actually you know have him briefly acknowledge my existence that was basically like I could die happy after that, you know, <laughs> it was on my bucket list, like, Scott Manley, acknowledge your existence, check, boom, I can go out with a smile on my face. Do you use the proceeds from your YouTube to help pay your accommodation fees? Wouldn't that be lovely? Uh, I don't know how much you think I earn from YouTube, it's, it's not an insignificant amount, but trust me, it is not much. I use my YouTube money to pay for food. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as I, as I said earlier, my mum pays for my accommodation, um, not just, you know, uh, <laughs> not just uh, with no strings attached. I do uh, work for her and you know because it's a much better arrangement than having to go out and get a minimum wage job it's a much better arrangement for me just working for her saving her money um and yeah and her paying for my accommodation but then yeah i cover the rest with loans so i live on my maintenance loan and then i pay for the tuition fees uh with a student loan what is your favorite movie uh ooh, i'll have to go with aliens just ugh, classic and i can just watch that movie over and over again and it just never gets old. What superpower would you have if you could pick one? Teleportation! I hate travelling <laughs> with a vengeance, so yeah, I mean I would probably get rather overweight if I did have it because I would just never move anywhere, like I wouldn't even go up and down the stairs, <laughs> which is apparently pretty good cardio, which is probably the only thing that actually keeps me from being unfit. Um, but yeah, that, that in combination with my very high metabolism, the fact I'm still growing, is probably the only reason why I'm still in decent shape. Uh, yeah, I probably will have to start exercising at some point in the future because, you know, I don't have the couch potato gene, but I do tend to just stay inside, play games and, you know, scream at sunlight. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, later on in life, I will have to probably keep up some kind of exercise. But really, I've got a finite number of heartbeats and life's too short, really. I don't enjoy exercise, so I'd much rather be doing something I like. At the end of Endurance Season 1, would you do a showcase of all the ships and rovers and stuff using the series? Yes, at the very end of the finale, I'm going to do a little montage, which, as I said in the last episode, with some sort of hopeful music and stuff. And I'm going to go through all the different um, all the different craft and flags that we planted, and the dates they were planted and landed, and what they achieved, and you know, the mission names and everything. I think that could be really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, another reason why the finale of Endurance is going to take a little while. You'll, you guys will get it. You will get it, don't worry. But it will be a little ways through um, August. Have you ever played Fortnite? No, because real men play Minecraft. What does it take to get put in the Gulag on the Discord? Uh, I mean, there is a rules channel of the Discord you can examine. I think there are a few interesting ones in there, like don't be an annoying minge and, and no dabbing. But yeah, just have a look at that. Beans or peas? Beans! You can't have peas on toast. Can you tell us what assignments are in your major? I want to study similar things and want to know what's coming for me. Um, it's mostly exam based, so yeah, very little of it is based on coursework, but we do have coursework. And I think you get more and more coursework uh, in later years. But in this year, I uh, had a couple, so I have an essay, which is a pain in the ass. It's a 3,000 word technical essay, um, but you know, yeah, I did. Try, I did do this course to try and get away from essays, but uh, but no, they found a way to get them in. But then we had some other much cooler stuff. Uh, so we, we did have a lab report as well, which is alright. Um, but then you also have some interesting things. So we had a design project where you have to uh, design uh, and optimize uh, an aerofoil for a Formula One car, which is really cool, and then test it around a virtual circuit. Then they 3D print it for you. That was really awesome. Uh, and we had like two um, workshop days as well. Um, it's a very practical course, but when it comes to the actual assignments, the practical stuff is more to help your understanding. Um, 
yeah, I assume I'll get much bigger projects in later years. Um, you know, it's now we know the basic skills and, and the like, we'll start building things. I think in later year projects, you, you know, build CubeSats and all sorts of crazy stuff. But uh, in the earlier years, yeah, it is pretty much just exam based. You go to the lectures, you learn the stuff, you have some labs to help with understanding. But at the end of the day, yeah, it's all about writing down on a piece of paper and ticks and crosses. What is your opinion on chavs? Um, I don't hate them too much i don't like chavs um but i don't have necessarily anything against them as long as as long as they don't bother me particularly <laughs> okay i'm using my words carefully here what i do hate is road men don't get me started on road men right because in grammar school right there's sort of this almost a divide between between the kids who come from slightly you know less wealthy backgrounds um and then kids who come from slightly more privileged backgrounds and there was this guy i'm not gonna say his name but like he lived in tooting which is like a really upmarket end of wimbledon where they have the tennis you know and he came and he, he had he was absolutely perfectly spoken and then he fell in with a group of people and he literally puts on like a chav accent and like tries to he's like oh i'm a hard man bruv and he, oh my god it's so cringeworthy and uh, embarrassing and yeah it's i hate roadmen so much <laughs> it's like just just stop just absolutely stop why do you always say that you make q a vids more frequently because i am a liar do you plan on making a finale to the full commit series i do plan on doing that this summer i will do it in august same as the endurance finale after the endurance finale i will make that i promise i'll revert my hard to find forward to a previous version i will make that video it's been way too long like almost a year at this point but i i am determined to actually make that final video what are you playing in the background right now i'm playing stellar drone uh, they're very nice for sort of ambient backing music. Is there any chance that you make a collaboration with someone else than tape? Uh, yes, but at the moment, no. I did look into collaborating with a few people and I reached out to a couple of people to maybe play Sins of the Prophets or Stellaris. Um, but really, at the end of the day, I barely have time to make my own videos. Like, pretty much all I'm making now is endurance um, because that's all I really have time to do. I wouldn't have time to commit to even a simple collaboration like a game or something. Maybe I could do that, but even then, you know, scheduling with their, you know, when they're free and <laughs> when I'm free is pretty difficult. And, and yeah, especially not any kind of collaborative project like with Tape. Um, the thing about you know, me and Tape is, is we'd worked together for a long time, so, you know, we knew that we were both reliable and we didn't need to communicate that much. I could just hand the save off to him, we could do it in his time, you know, we could do these projects really well. Um, we worked really well together just because we had worked for so long. Um, so yeah, starting uh, collaborating with someone else, it, it takes so long to get hold of someone. Uh, and I've had so many of you guys like recommending you people to collaborate with who have like hundreds of thousands of, of subscribers who are never going to listen to the likes of me. You know, I, d I do have 20,000 subscribers, which is great. You know, that's very flattering for me, but it's it's not that many compared to a lot of the uh, youtubers many of you keep saying i'll be you know collaborate with eckhart's ladder and the like you know some of my idols i'm like N they're never gonna collaborate with me um but you know it is a nice sentiment uh but yeah certainly not not while i'm at uni um so yeah not anytime soon thoughts on going back to stellaris or trying another paradox game um well i mean i haven't stopped playing stellaris i still play it now and then you know have a bit of free time but f again for the channel it just comes back to time paradox games you need a massive time investment to complete them and that is just something that i really don't have right now even not being at uni so uh yeah not anytime soon not on the channel i don't think that brings an end to our questions. I don't want this video to get too long. I'd like to try and keep these Q&As under 20 minutes, but uh, I do like to take my time answering the questions and, uh, you know, give them the time that they deserve. But uh, thank you for watching, everyone. I do hope you've enjoyed, and uh, I will see you all in about a month's time when I've finished my work placement and uh, I've come back from holiday in Tenerife.